Hey guys, Martin here. Feeling a bit under the weather this week, actually. Uh, not not because of depression or anything like that. Um, because I'm sick. I have a bit of a, a throat problem right now. I don't know if you can hear it very well. I'm speaking quietly just so it doesn't exacerbate things, but I've got a very gravelly voice right now. I, I tried recording uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge stuff uh, earlier, uh, I think a couple of days ago, and uh, Mariana was listening to it, and she said Marek sounded really gravelly. He sounded very, he sounded much deeper than usual. And I, I didn't believe her, but then my, my throat started acting up. And so that's become kind of a problem. I apologize if I sniffle or sneeze or cough, or if I get my germs on you somehow through this video, I, I do apologize. Um, but uh, it's, it's been, it's been a good week. It's been a really good week, actually, for me. Um, I don't, this is, this video isn't going to be super long just because I'm trying not to aggravate my voice or my throat too much. I'm trying to be very quiet if I can. Um, but I, so I apologize if this isn't a very long entry. But I wanted I wanted to talk about one thing in particular. Uh, I I remember when this series started, and there was a lot of positive response to it when it started, and I do appreciate that. I do appreciate the fact that people were interested and were very. I don't want to say approving, but people responded very... People were very receptive to the idea that I would want to talk about having depression and, and the fact that, you know, someone in... I hate to say my position, but somebody who is a personality who is who is out there on the internet... I mean, I have I have a following. That I'm not going to say that I'm super famous. I'm definitely not. But uh, but there are people who, who look at me and who, who, who look to me as a source of comedy entertainment i don't know but the idea that somebody in my position would to choose the to use their platform to talk about this 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 subject of of you know being mentally uh down you know being being sort of broken uh, on the inside a little bit would uh you know people were very receptive to it for the most part for the most part and and that's what matters you know is that so many people were okay with it you know i i'm i'm very i'm blown away that people didn't just dismiss it as as something that you know it was self-indulgent and it was a little bit but you know the reason i wanted to start talking about it was because i feel like one of the reasons people suffer more i don't think it's one of the reasons people suffer from depression period but one of the reasons depression has such a drastic effect on people is that we can't talk about it because we feel we feel like it'll be something to be ashamed of and we feel like people will be like well we'll just cheer up you know just get over it and i understand that i understand both sides of that uh so i i one of the reasons that i i started making we're still here was to encourage people to talk about it and uh, somewhere along the line i think i want to say around like the 30th entry or so people were like well when is he going to stop talking about it and they are right they have every right to say that and they have every right to to wonder why i would spend an inordinate amount of time it's not a huge amount of time but it's more time than a lot of people would would spend uh, making videos about this sort of thing why why is he still doing it was a question I heard a lot, uh, and I still see to this day, uh, and I don't feel bad about that, I don't feel insulted, I don't feel personally attacked, I feel a little bit sad, just because at the end of the day, these videos aren't hurting anybody, I don't think, they're not, they're not distracting me from my work, I do them in my spare time, I do them on my day off, and uh, I, I don't, I don't, I personally don't feel like there's any reason why I shouldn't talk about it, uh, I understand that it might change people's perception of me, but that's okay. I'd rather people's perception of me be changed by who I really am than be changed by something that is completely imaginary and fabricated and is something that I've forced them to believe just at the uh, at the expense of, of the real me. This is the real me at the end of the day. This is me. I, I, I present myself you know, at conventions and in, in videos, in other videos that I do, as an entertainer, I present myself as a personality, and it's very artificial, it's very forced, but this is me. I don't have any... I have the lighting equipment up right now, and I have a camera pointed at me, but aside from that, I very rarely try to be me. So when I see people being like, 
you know, why is he still doing this? I mean, sometimes it's a bit sad just because, you know, I, I, it's a shame that the, the one time that I'm myself is the one time that it seems to frustrate people that I'm creating content. But I do understand it. I understand that people would rather see a more positive side of me. And I'm trying to do that in these videos as well. At the same time, a lot of, there are a lot of people that this is the one thing that upsets me a little bit. And it, and I don't feel, again, I don't feel attacked and I don't feel, I don't want to tell these people off. I don't want to discourage them from saying this because at the end of the day, they're not too far off the mark. There are a lot of people who say that it's just a, a video series of me whining about how I want to kill myself. And I don't think that's necessarily true all the time, but it's true enough of the time for them to be justified in saying it. Uh, and I don't want you to feel discouraged from talking about that. That's the main thing that I worry about, is if you see people responding to these videos or responding to a post about me in general, if you ever if you ever hear somebody saying, well, little Karibo, he, he was a guy who used to be entertaining, I don't know, whatever I used to be to people, they always end up, end up saying like well now he's the guy who whines and talks about killing himself in videos and well <laughs> that's okay to me you know if, that, if that's what I am to them and they've dismissed that and they've discounted that I mean that's their that's their call to make but I don't think you should feel at, at any point that you you, you you shouldn't you shouldn't feel discouraged from talking about this stuff that's my main concern with that is that when you see people saying those things that you might be you might have your mind changed. You might be more averse to to opening up about this if people, if random people on the internet, are gonna are gonna be down on you for it. But that's not. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be discouraged from being real. And and I don't want you to ever feel that a stranger saying something like that about me has ever discouraged me from doing this. It's just made me think about it. You know, it's just made me think. And that's not a bad thing. And that's why I don't feel necessarily all that bad that people are saying those things. I feel that they have the right to say it. And I feel that I have the right to say what I'm saying in these videos. But having said all that, I I did want to acknowledge the fact that, that people do have that perception of me. And I understand it. And I believe that for a time they were right. For a time, for a long time, all I could think about was wanting to kill myself. Which is... Uh, difficult to to admit and it's difficult i mean it's it's not it's not something that i haven't admitted before but it's just difficult to just put it out there on the table and just be like that that's how i was for a while for for a long time to the point of of affecting my relationship and affecting my friendships with people and affecting me on a very very you know powerful scale all i could think about for for a time in my life was how i would kill myself and how I would die, you know, not even necessarily killing myself, but dying and just being gone and, and and not being anybody's problem anymore. You know, that was the thing that I would think about and talk about in these videos. And uh, that's been gone for a while now. It's been it's been a while since I've been feeling that. And I wanted to acknowledge that. And I know that I've been acknowledging a lot of my recovery and a lot of my improvements over the last several entries. And I've apologized every time, but I'm not going to apologize for this. I don't think about dying. I don't think about killing myself anymore. I don't think about how I'm going to die. I think about how I'm going to live. I think about how I'll live and how I'll, how I'll get through this and how I'll still be here decades from now. And how I'm not going to make it vague or confusing. I'm not going to make people wonder if I'm happy. I'm not going to make people wonder if I'm doing okay. I'm not going to make people wonder. I'm not going to allow people wonder if I'm enjoying my life and if I'm okay and if I'm happy with everything in my life. I'm going to make sure people know that I am. I'm going to make it so that people know. I'm going to make it so that people complain more about the fact that I'm too happy <laughs> with the way things are. I'm going to make sure people talk about that rather than talk about how all I do is whine because the real me, the person who I am how I really feel I want to live I want to know what that's like 
Well, that's all I can really afford for this week, I think. I'm, I'm going to give my voice a rest. But thank you for thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And and if you're going through something, if you're going through a difficult patch, if you're, if you're feeling things that you feel it's difficult to acknowledge and difficult to talk about, it is difficult. But it's not impossible. And believe me, opening up and talking to somebody, it makes the world a difference. And they might not acknowledge or appreciate or even understand what you're going through. But it's important to start talking about it, in my opinion. It's important to, to start the conversation, because otherwise it never starts. And then it never ends. And it's a conversation you have with yourself. And there's no way, there's no way out of that one. Anyway, I, just, I think I'm going to go. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'll, I'll see you next time.